Throughout the 60s, American muscle car manufacturers made different versions of cars that have become legends over time. And we're standing in front of a very interesting display of 1965 Chevelle, well actually Malibu SS cars, right? right? Tell me what's significant about these that we're standing in front of. We've got nine examples here of the RPO Z16 uh, model of the Chevelle SS. It's the first Chevrolet 396 produced. Uh, it was designed to feature and sort of showcase the 396 engine, which had newly come out in February of 1965. Uh, the program came from high up at GM, had marching orders to put the cars out in the hands of high profile people to get them into magazines for road tests and whatnot. Not really to sell more 65 Chevelles, but to uh, grease the wheel to sell more orders for 66 Chevelle SS 396s. Uh, there were about, I guess, eight or ten road test magazine articles done on the cars. Uh, they were all built at the Kansas City plant under strict criteria. Uh, all are very similar cars. Uh, between late February and early April of 1965, a total of 201 were built. Uh, there's some dispute about whether one of those was a convertible right. or not. Uh, had a lot of good conversations so far this weekend about that story. Uh, but out of the 201 built, there are known to be roughly 75 cars in various states of disrepair up to these beautiful restored examples uh, that are out for the show today uh, that are still around. So that's sort of the story. Right. Well. But the rest of the story is the uniqueness of the car. There's oh, a yes. lot of really cool parts on this thing, not just that 396, but unique things like the rear end and the drum brakes. Right. And the, the car, again, had the, the, the 396 motor. It was an L37, not L78, that everybody thinks it is. Had a hydraulic cam instead of the solid cam the L78 cars had. Uh, the option package included power steering, power brakes, 160 mile an hour speedometer, a tachometer, AM FM radio with the newly released stereo multiplex unit. Uh, the frame of the car was a box convertible style frame. It had the Impala 11 inch brakes all the way around, which necessitated a special rear axle to accommodate that equipment. The mag, newly released mag hubcaps, gold striped tires. Um, all of the rear trim is completely different from the normal Malibu SS, uh, special to only those 201 cars. Under the hood looks a lot like a 66 Chevelle SS, but that year it was the only one to have the chrome air cleaner lid, valve covers, even the choke lines, PCV lines, and vacuum advance lines are all chrome on the car. So it's funny, the, the and this option package was called RPO Code Z16. Correct. And although you mentioned the option package, there really is no options when you order one of these because it comes with everything. Very few. The Z16 option was $1,501, <laughs> which pushed the, uh, the bottom line sticker price of the car to more than a big block Corvette that year. And came in three colors? Three colors, red crocus yellow or black. Uh, the interiors were available in solid black, white with black trim or red. Obviously you couldn't get a yellow car with a red interior, but every other combo was available. Uh, so there were eight color combinations and if you add the variable of the vinyl top, 16 possible combos and out of the nine cars here today we've got eight different combinations wow. represented. So how did you put this whole display together and you know, where do you find the cars? Uh, it's a tight-knit group of people that own or have owned these cars and everybody pretty well stays in touch. Uh, so I reached out to Bob Ashton first about putting the thing together and he was uh, good with the idea and had, I think, 11 coming and one fella unfortunately had his car wrecked last Friday, oh, taking no. it to the upholstery shop to get a couple things tweaked for the show. Uh, but we got nine here. That's a pretty good turnout out of 75-ish uh, cars that are still alive. Yeah, that's a very impressive. 
And uh, are any of these yours? Only one. I've got the unrestored car. A uh, little scruffy around the edges, but it's all there, all original, and it's pretty much never had a bolt turn on it. Very cool. So it's my guess that uh, is this one of those cars that they're, you know, ended up being more than were produced because people were making their own. Yes and no. There are a lot of clones floating around, but you can't fake one because this is, to my knowledge, the only. 396 Chevelle that is identified by one of the codes on the trim tag. Oh, really? So unless you make a fake trim tag, sure. which knowledgeable people can spot a mile away, right? Uh, unless you do that, then you can't fake the car. Well, very cool. What's the website address if people want it's to learn more? www.z16chevelle.com. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you taking the time and and doing the effort to bring this tremendous display here. It's just. Another one of those macaque displays that you're not going to see at your local car show. That's right. Thanks again. Thank you.